This is another banger video where you will have to use your tiny brain cells in solving this tricky geometry problem. We have a quadrilateral ABCD where angle DAB is 90 degrees, then angle ABC is 150 degrees, and angle ADC is labeled as X. We are also given that sides DA, AB, and BC are all equal to each other. Using only this much information, we need to find the value of x. So, can you solve it? Okay, in order to solve this problem, we will think out of the box, and we will first extend line AB like this, and then we will draw another line, which will be perpendicular to line AB from point C like this. Let us call the intersection point as M. Tell me what will be the value of angle CBM. We know that angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees, right? This angle ABC and angle CBM are angles on a straight line, so their sum is 180 degrees. Angle CBM must be 180 minus 150 or 30 degrees. Now since triangle CMB is a right triangle and angle CBM is 30 degrees, therefore angle BCM must be equal to 60 degrees. And hence, triangle CMB is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. We have a property that the sides are in the ratio 1 to square root of 3 to 2, where the side opposite 30 degrees is the shortest, and the hypotenuse is 2 times the shortest side. Let us label side length CM, which is opposite to 30 degree angle as H. So, using this property, we get the length of the hypotenuse BC as 2 times H. This means that side lengths AB, or this, and DA, or this, will also be equal to 2 times H, because BC is given to be equal to AB and DA. Noise! Okay, now here comes the magic. Connect points A and C like this. What can you say about the triangle ABC, since sides AB and BC are equal, Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. We already know angle ABC is 150 degrees, so the other two angles must be equal. Now their sum will be equal to 30 degrees because we know that all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, each of these angles is equal to 30 over 2 or 15 degrees. Next, consider the angle DAB, which we know is 90 degrees. But angle DAB equals angle DAC plus angle BAC. So we get 90 equals angle DAC plus 15 degrees, angle DAC equals 75 degrees. Finally, drop a perpendicular from point C to side DA like this and call this point as N. What do you think will be the length of piece AN? Look properly. It will be equal to segment CM, which is H and thus AN equals H. Also, we have DA equals 2 times H, which we can also write as DN plus AN or DN plus H. Therefore, DN equals H as well. Now tell me what can we say about triangles DNC and ANC? First, both triangles share the side CN, so that's one pair of equal sides. Second, we already saw that DN and AN are both equal to H. So that's the second pair of equal sides. Third, both triangles are right triangles because we dropped a perpendicular from point C to side DA. So now we have two right triangles with two equal sides and the included angle equal. That's enough to say that triangles DNC and ANC are congruent by the RHS congruence rule. Since these triangles are congruent, their corresponding angles will also be equal. That means angle DAC equals angle ADC, and therefore angle ADC also equals 75 degrees, which means X equals 75 degrees, and that's it. This is our final answer. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.